where are you guys in terms of the whole idea of, you know, student loan repayment, uh, making college more affordable? Um, you know, obviously a lot of parents, this is the fall and kids are going back to school. So what's, what's, what's your recommendations there? So I think the Biden administration's approach has largely been on trying to hit the symptoms of the problem rather than the problem at its root. Um, our concern with all of the, the debt cancellation schemes they've been doing, and, and just before they did the income driven repayment, they also tried to do, uh, they, they, they paused interest for a really long period of time and that, that resulted in a lot of what's effectively student debt cancellation. Um, they tried to do up to $20,000 of blanket cancellation for a lot of folks um, by executive order before the Supreme Court struck it down. And the problem with these approaches is that they really just, um, they, they just fuel the problem more. They're just pumping more money into a broken system and uh, encouraging universities to raise their tuition prices. Because if you're, if you just have more money going into the, the system uh, and there's no accountability for it, that's, that's the upshot of what you're going to get. Um, and student debt cancellation uh, has been actually one of the Biden administration's most expensive uh, provision um, um, policy initiatives, uh, costing even more than the bipartisan infrastructure bill. So uh, it's very it's very costly and it's going to raise prices in the long run. Uh, our approach uh, is I would say threefold. The first is we want to uh, we want to try to tackle the problem at its root. So we have. Uh, a lot of proposals in here to control the cost of a college education, whether that's through um, cutting onerous regulations, encouraging universities to move towards uh, three-year degrees. So you're immediately able to cut the cost by 25% by um, cutting unnecessary course requirements and graduating students earlier so they can uh, pay fewer years of tuition and get a, a job that pays them well sooner. Um, more accountability for outcomes from schools uh, so we have a lot of those provisions. Uh, and then for for students who pursue a degree uh, and are stuck with the debt from pursuing that degree, but don't get the income benefits to pay that debt back, um, we support an expansion of income-driven repayment policies. And these are policies that uh, allow students to pay back uh, only a certain percentage of their income towards their loan for a set period of time. And if they make the payments, and still have an outstanding balance that gets forgiven. Um, we think this is the right way to do student debt cancellation to the extent uh, there is one. Uh, but the problem with the Biden administration's income-driven repayment program is that it was it, it went too far. Um, it uh, we did an analysis when it came out that showed that uh, the average college graduate who takes on the maximum student debt burden would likely not repay even two thirds of their original loan, let alone any interest. So it was basically incentivizing students to take on more debt and have a higher debt burden instead of reducing student debt, which is obviously the goal we have here. Um, so by by streamlining the, uh, by, by rationalizing the financing and trying to cut the cost of college, um, that's our primary solution for um, the, the cost of education for people who pursue a degree. Uh, the third element that I think is important and is actually maybe the most important is we need better alternatives to a college degree. College is good for some folks, but it's not for everyone. Um, there are plenty of jobs out there that require more skills than a high school diploma, but don't need a traditional four-year degree um, that would be more expensive, more time consuming, and in many cases, just not give people the right skills for the jobs uh, that we have openings for. And so PPI has heavily advocated for uh, expanding um, non-degree pathways. Our budget includes funding to sponsor uh, up to 4 million new apprenticeship programs a year that allow people to get on the job education while earning a paycheck. Uh, and so by, by combining these elements, we really try to make education um, a lot more affordable for, for average Americans.